Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the cursed captain here with a theory of what the future of our beloved seas has in store for it. I was recently at one of my favorite taverns swapping stories with my crew when we were approached by a stranger. He referred to himself as the researcher, and for a price he would share his secrets with me. Well, you know me, I love a good story, so I invited the pirate to have a seat and ordered a round of grogs. This is what he had to share. He began by speaking of the disappearance of Amaranta from the Sea Dog Tavern and the arrival of the masked mysterious stranger on the unmarked island I-12. This disappearance begs the question, what is really going on behind closed doors? He continued saying that he knew Amaranta was heavily obsessed with the legend of Flameheart and now it seems she's seeking ways in which to revive him. The researcher had originally thought the contents of the reaper chest contained the remains of Flameheart. However, given how many crates of remains Duke seems to have, that seems unlikely now. That is when he got weirdly quiet, looked straight at me and said, this begs the question though, what was the mysterious stranger digging in the unmarked island? What purpose did the dark relics serve? And we know they are powerful artifacts, yet we do not know exactly what they are capable of. And it was at this point when I realized I had not had enough grog for this story, so I stopped in there and ordered another round. I looked over to see if my crew was listening, and as you know it, Sharpie was playing with her new best friend Star, Lobo was passed out on a bench snoring, Beardo was reading, well, the book of Beardo, and Dernan, he was actually listening with me. Anyways, after some good grog was drunk, I had the researcher continue, and he went on. My theory, he said, is that Flameheart is pulling pretty much all of the strings here, and is in league with Wanda to bring about his resurrection by making use of the Dark Relics. What's strange is we are the one to return the Dark Relics back to the Order of Souls, so why would they be on Shipwreck Bay? Unless someone put them there. I believe that the four dolls are controlling someone, or maybe even a few people. Perhaps the ritual table in the cabin of the Black Witch is the site of where the mastermind of this ordeal is pulling the strings. The Order wanted the relics to protect us against something or someone, because they know how dangerous they can be. The boxes of bones and rags could simply be a red herring, or they could be used for more nefarious purposes. Given how many there are, it could be possible that Flameheart may be trying to raise an army against the Sea of Thieves. Wanda's attempt at taking over the outpost failed with her small armadas. I think she and Flameheart may be back for round two. Flameheart was the only pirate to sink, much less damage the famed vessel of the pirate lord, the Magpie's Wing. It is quite possible he wishes to finish what he started and eliminate the pirate lord and possibly the name of Singh in general once and for all. How does this all tie with Armoranta, he asks. Well, prior to Smuggler's Fortune, she could be found outside the Sea Dog Tavern, speaking rather ill of the Seti and DeMarco Singh, the children of the pirate lord. She says, Things will be different when she runs the Sea Dogs. As we know, there is a secret room at the top of the tavern with portraits of the siblings with knives thrown into them. I believe heavily that Amarata has the intention to overthrow the siblings, and that is her motive for teaming up with Flameheart and Wanda. Furthermore, I believe Amarata to be the member of the Twisted Knife, a group of mercenaries that carry out nefarious acts, including bounty hunting. The little information that we do have about the Twisted Knife comes from the ancient book called The Tales of the Sea of Thieves. They're known for using disguises and poisons to quickly kill their targets. This seems to fit pretty well with the current events. Stitcher Jim can also be found on the same island as the Masked Stranger and he claims he turned over a new leaf and that he loves her. I for one think he is still the slimy snake he always has been and is working with her to carry out nefarious acts. Jim was the one that originally betrayed Captain Morrow when the Forsaken Shores Alliance found a box of wondrous secrets. She was the one to survive the poisoning of her crew. It would not be a stretch to think that he was also a member of the Twisted Knife and Jim's connections go all the way back to when the Pirate Lord was alive as well. He teamed up with one of Ramsey's crewmates, Rathbone 
Sloan, who would later become the infamous Gold Hoarder. Everything points to a major uprising in the Sea of Thieves. And it was at that moment that I got some massive chills up my spine. Not because I was scared, of course, because I'm the cursed captain. After all, Sharpie left the tavern door open and a storm had rolled in, let in a draft. <laughs> Anyways, the researcher shared his final thoughts with me. He said Flameheart and potentially the Twisted Knife are teaming up to overthrow the Sing siblings, take over the Sea Dogs and somehow eliminate the Pirate Lord. This seems an impossible task given that he's already a ghost, but we are dealing with magical powers we know not fully, so it's entirely possible that the relics could be used to banish spirits or even possibly lock them away. I believe whatever is behind the wall at Wanderer's Refuge will be the key to Flameheart's awakening. And that, mate, is when I realized the grog was completely empty. I went up to get another one and asked the researcher some more questions about what he thinks the ferryman will release me from my curse, and I turned around and he was gone. Maybe it was all a dream. Or maybe, just maybe, this stranger, the researcher, is spot on.